What's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop with a big announcement. Super stoked on this, so is everybody on the team. Recently, we just got sponsored by DPM Systems. And uh, if you guys don't know what DPM Systems is, there's definitely going to be a link in the uh, description box below and as well as pinned uh, in the comments section. So definitely check out their website. But um, DPM Systems... Firearms recoil improvement, and uh, they got them for pistols, rifles, and shotguns. So basically, recoil springs, buffer tubes, buffer springs, different stuff like that. Um, you know, for for pistols and rifles and shotguns, and they reduce recoil. And there's a lot of gimmicky stuff out there that oh, you know, this is going to reduce 30% of your recoil or 50% of your recoil or you know, it's gonna the gun's gonna track better. And they're kind of hokey and they don't really work. And, you know, maybe they work a little bit, but not enough to actually tell the difference. The DPM stuff works, man. You can ask anybody that shoots for Team Terribly Tactical because we all got them for our guns. Uh, and big shout out to DPM Systems. Seriously, guys, we appreciate it so much. Uh, me specifically for, for getting back to me, for being so helpful, for shipping the stuff out right away. Uh, you guys are awesome. You guys really, really hooked it up, and I very much so appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and I'm very, very excited uh, to do what we can for you you know, through competition and uh, spreading the good word because this stuff actually works. Really, really does work. This one is for the CZ-75B that you see before you. That's my IDPA gun. Uh, it's basically stock, except it's got some lock grips on it. It's got the DPM systems recoil in there, um, recoil reduction system, and then that's it. It's going to be, you know, tricked out a little bit further. I'm going to make it look like the Joker with, you know, zombie green and purple, but forget the gun that's just there to show um here's the spring now they sent us one for the cz 75 for me the glock 17 uh attack sport attack sport orange a cz shadow a beretta 92 a smith and wesson mp i think something else could be wrong um you know and this guy for my Glock, it's a glass breaker base plate, super freaking cool. They hooked everybody up on the team with patches, you know, a patch each, black and white. We got stickers, we got the little manuals and stuff, the little uh, brochures. But everybody got um, a recoil reduction system for their pistol that they shoot with. And we all put them in our guns. This one is in the gun right now, um, which you can't tell or can't see. Um... And this one is brand new. It's kind of stiff. It's kind of hard to take it out and take it apart. But um, it is in there, and I have shot it with it in there, and it does make a very noticeable difference, even more so with a higher-end race-style gun like Chris has, who, sh who shoots on the team. He's got a Tac Sport um, and a CZ Shadow, and he's got a Tactical Sport Orange on the way. And with his guns, I mean, he's double-tapping, like, pop, pop in groups like this at seven yards and for shooting competition idpa uspsa that's very important so you get those a zone hits um you know because targets could be right up close or they could be 20 yards away and you have to shoot each paper target twice so to be able to double tap in a group that small and that consistent and that quickly and get right back on target the gun tracks better you realign your sights quicker less felt recoil the gun doesn't move as much they really really help uh, what it is is basically not for all of them. They're not all the same, but the way most of them are is it's a steel two piece, uh, two piece or two spring guide rod assembly. So you know, kind of like a Glock Gen 4 if you're familiar. Um, you know, so there's a spring inside of a spring, and then your guide rod. You know, your steel guide rod, and then there's a third spring. So there's one in the gun. Um, they give you a couple different extra spring weights. You could try them out, see which one you like the best. And, uh, it's quite the value. It really is because it does actually work. So there's, I forget which one I got in there and which one this is, but between the two of them, I like the way that that one felt better. So that's why it's in the gun. And, uh, so they gave you the recoil. This is the original, original, uh, guide rod and recoil spring. So they gave you the, you know, the guide rod with the two springs and then two extra, at least with the CZ-75B, two extra springs to go on top of it. So now you have three springs and that really does reduce the recoil. You guys aren't gonna be able to tell, but by just racking the slide, you can feel the difference. 
You can feel the difference. I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but it, it's, it's definitely a little bit stiffer to rack the slide, which is no big deal. And, uh, but it definitely makes a lot of improvement. It makes, you know, a big difference, a huge difference as far as recoil management and uh, recoil reduction. So that's, you know, for our given purpose of competition shooting, this is going to give us an edge for sure. And then even more so, like Chris and a couple other guys on the team reload their own ammunition so they could get the loads right down to, you know, where it's legal for competition, but they're a lot lighter than a factory load. And with those two things combined, um, it's lights out, baby. It's lights out. So huge, huge shout out to DPM Systems for sponsoring the team and hooking it up. Uh, we very much so appreciate it. We really do. And it's been a great help, uh, you know, in competition so far. Guys have already shot. Uh, some matches using the products and uh, you know we're going to be repping them we're getting some new jerseys made up so they're not on the the current jersey yet but they will be and uh, very very big shout out to them because they're really they're really helping us out because uh, these things are not exactly the cheapest okay but they're well worth it from everything that we've come to find they are well worth it and I will put my name on it and sign away on the dotted line for that because through testing they actually do work um, these systems, you know, the recoil springs and guide rods together for your given pistol, it varies, but they're, you know, a little shy of a hundred bucks, you know, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. They've got some for the AR-15 that I think run around 200 something dollars. Um, they're out of grease, you know, so there, there's shipping and, and different stuff like that. But from everything that we've seen, and we've got about 10 guys on the team, um, We've all got these. We've all put them in our guns. We've all noticed improvements in our follow-up shots, our speed, our accuracy at speed, and uh, you know our recovery under fire with these products. So if you're looking for that, if you're a competition shooter, um, good to go. Good to go, 110%. If you're going to run it in a defensive gun, by all means, you know, obviously when you do anything to a defensive gun, I would run a lot of rounds through it, make sure it's going to work for you. We have had zero malfunctions yet with these. We all got a few hundred rounds through the guns after putting the springs in there, and they are top notch. So, uh, again, big shout out to DPM for really, really hooking it up and uh, for, for being a part of our, you know, competition shooting journey uh it's very much so appreciated it's awesome i'm going to do more videos individually with the different guns and hopefully i can get some slow-mo going and uh, you know show the difference in recoil and stuff like that i'm not that technologically advanced so don't <laughs> don't hold me to it but i'm going to do my best to make that happen for you guys and uh you know, hit me up in the comment section, guys. If you guys have any experience with these products, I know Brett and 9mm USA does, and, and they like them a lot. Um, let me know, you know, good or bad, either or. Uh, if you're interested in something like this, though, like I said, check them out. The link will be in the description box below, as well as pinned in the comment section. And uh, you guys have my word that they are good to go. Me and the entire team have been extremely impressed with them. And uh, that's that, guys. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, that really helps me out a lot. If you want to support the channel, got a bunch of affiliate links in the description box below. You can shop with those links. I get a little bit of a commission, and it goes right back into the channel to make more videos and do cool stuff for the channel. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, and uh, we'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.